Hello, my name is Chris Peterson, Director of the Product Center Food Ag Bio at Michigan State University. This is the fifth year we've held our Making It in Michigan conference, and the trade show that's associated with the conference is shaping up to be our largest yet. We're expecting over 150 vendors to be part of the show this year, and they will all have a very special opportunity to compete for real shelf space at a grocery store. We're very pleased that Westbourne Market from Detroit is joining us again this year to sponsor a competition among our vendors called The Next Skew Could Be You. Westbourne will be judging the various products that are going to be at the trade show, and they're going to pick three lucky winners from the clients and other vendors that are exhibiting and selling their products. Each chosen vendor will win a year's worth of free shelf space in the three Westbourne Market outlets. This is an extraordinary opportunity for a young product going to the marketplace because they'll be able to have the space without cost to the vendor other than the obvious cost of producing the product. It's an exciting component of the trade show and we're thrilled to have Westbourne host this again as part of our Making It in Michigan conference this year. If one of our specialty food producers wanted to really be competitive for one of these three slots in the Westbourne Michigan Dome, there are a number of different things they need to be thinking about and getting ready for, and it wouldn't be too soon to be doing that right now. The first criteria in the product judging is that any product is going to have to be of good quality. The taste is absolutely going to have to be there and it's going to have to be distinctive in flavor and taste at the same time. The second criteria that any client needs to be cautious about is the packaging. Is it attractive? Is it also convenient for the consumer? Does it present the product in the very best way possible? So again, if you start with a good quality product in terms of taste, you've got good packaging. The third criteria is defining what the competitive advantage is. You know, there are a lot of salsas out there. So if you've got a salsa in mind, you better be able to demonstrate to the Westbourne judges why it is the best salsa. Is it because it's designed for a very special kind of consumer in one way or another? Does it have health benefits that some of the others don't have? The key idea is that the client really has to have thought through how they are different from competing products. Finally, the client has to be able to exhibit that they're ready to do the job of marketing the product. Do they have in mind what the business proposition is, not just for the consumer, but for the grocer? Do they really know what's necessary to take the product to market? Even if you've got the quality, got the packaging, got the competitive advantage, if you don't know how to take the product to market in a way that makes sense and will preserve those first three characteristics, you're going to run into trouble. So if the client thinks about those four things, they should be ready to show why they should be a winner. I'm Chris Peterson, director of the MSU Product Center, and I want to see you at the Making It in Michigan conference and trade show.